The money perk. Everything that gives you money in King of the Hill, uh, you get an extra 10% rewards with this perk equipped. So for every $100 you make, you get an extra $10. And of course, this may not seem like a lot at one single time, but this adds up very quickly. So if you guys keep grinding with that money perk, you're going to make a ton of extra money. All right, guys, the medic perk. Medic perk is huge. A lot of new players use it. Everyone recommends new players using it, so obviously it's going to be in here. Anytime you revive a player, no matter what, you get $100. Equip that medic perk, you get an extra $100. So $200 every time you revive a player, that's big money. Adds up. You get a lot of revives in a game. Plus, on top of this, any player that you revive, you get full assists on everything that they do and kill in-game. So if they kill a full hummingbird, that's $800 for all the players that are in that hummingbird. On top of that, you get the extra $350 for the helicopter itself. And you didn't even have to do anything but revive him. Take 10 seconds to revive him, maybe not even that. I'm not too sure. So get out there, equip that medic perk, make some money. Alright guys, so, anytime you see an enemy vehicle, you always want to shoot a wheel off of it and or toss a grenade at it. Shooting the wheel off of it will give you the assist and the explosion from the grenade will also give you the assist once another player either blows that vehicle up or it despawns off the map. Doing this throughout a game can get you an extra lump sum of cash, so I always suggest doing it. It's always worth the extra money. So, another great way to make money is the most simple one, is just surviving in the AO. So every time the AO ticks or a team gets a point, you get $50. So there's a minimum of 100 ticks per round, so it takes 100 points for a team to win. That's a minimum of $5,000 you can make. Well, obviously, most games go a lot longer than just 100 points, and sometimes some teams get... 98 on Op4, 60 on Indie, Blue 4 on US4 normally has like 2. We never score anything over there. But that's alright. So you're obviously going to make a lot more money than 5000 Now you can take this a step further and play in the priority area, which gives you $100 per tick. So if game's minimum, if you survive 100 ticks in that priority zone in one game, which if you can, props to you, I'll never be able to do it, you'll make $10,000 just from surviving in that priority area. Now, obviously, there's a lot more money to be made in longer games. So get out there. Make sure you survive. Play smart. And obviously, you'll get more money than just that for kills and assists, things like that, if you revive players and all. So, yep. The end game bonus. Hands down, my number one way to make money in this game. Just by playing the full game. You get extra rewards at the very end of a game based on number one, you get a percentage based on your team score. So the more points your team scores, the more percentage money you get based on your total performance during the game. On top of that, you get a playtime bonus. Your playtime bonus is also based on how much of the match, percentage of the match that you actually played in during that round. So, stay the whole game, play the entire game, and you'll make a ton extra money from that endgame bonus.